What's up guys, here is Claudio from Visual Moodle WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to embed or apply or add a contact form into the slider revolution slider made. So the very first step is grab or copy or get your contact form short code. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here for a video tutorial where I'll explain how to install and use Contact Form 7. But the same tutorial can be followed and used by any kind of contact form generator. So, Caldera Forms, Ninja Forms, Constant Contact. As long as you have the short code, nothing to worry. After this, go to Dashboard, WordPress, Revolution Slider. I'm gonna create a new slider just to show the process, but you can apply it into your previously made slider, hovering the slider and clicking on Edit. I'm gonna apply a color background to this new slider just to make it easier to view. Now, I'm gonna be adding the contact form short code. Go to add layer at the top left corner of your screen, apply a text layer, and simply post the contact form short code right here. As you can see, the contact form content will not show up as it is in today's slider. You're just gonna be able to see the short code. There's nothing wrong about it. As soon as the final user see the slider or you preview the slider, as I'm gonna be showing in some seconds, you will be able to see the complete contact form, not only the short code, but here at the background, you only can see the short code. You can apply icons, you can apply extra content, you can apply content around it, next to it, over it, above it. You can even apply um, a Google Map next to this contact form. As I did explaining how to do in the previous video on the Revolution Slider series on our Visual Modo YouTube channel. Take a moment to review. Here is the preview of the slider. You can preview in different screen sizes, for example, desktop, laptop, tablet and phone. If you go to the style and scroll a little bit down, you can change the spacings and you can change the positions right here. Position and size. Widget, H, X and Y. Position and size. But you can also click into the borders, these little dots into the borders of your contact form content. In my case, it is this one, contact form 7, ID 4, title, contact form 1. You can simply click on the on this, drag and drop. This can enlarge the contact form size, so the layer size. If you preview the contact form right now, you can see that the contact form is now occupying more space on your slider. And you can use the same method to organize your other slider contents. You can move it around the screen. You can use the alignment options in the position and size. So you can align the slider in the way that you want. Make sure that you can edit this in the different screen sizes. There is a video tutorial about it on the Visual Modo channel as well. And as you can see, the process is pretty much simple. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the visualmodo.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes with full compatibility to contact form, WordPress plugins, Revolution Slider, and many others. And I see you later. All the best!